My son, give attention to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding, that you may observe discretion and your lips may reserve knowledge. For the lips of an adulteress drip honey and smoother than oil is her speech. But in the end, she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold of Sheol. She does not ponder the path of life. Her ways are unstable. She does not know it. Now then, my sons, listen to me, and do not depart from the words of my mouth. Keep your way far from her, and do not go near the door of her house, or you will give your vigor to others and your years to the cruel. And strangers will be filled with your strength, and your hard-earned goods will go to the house of an alien. And you groan at your final end, when your flesh and your body are consumed. And you say, How I have hated instruction, and my heart spurned reproof. I have not listened to the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ears to my instructors. I was almost in utter ruin in the midst of the assembly and congregation. Drink water from your own cistern, and fresh water from your own well. Should your springs be dispersed abroad, streams of water in the streets, let them be yours alone and not for strangers with you. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice in the wife of your youth. As a loving hind and a graceful doe, let her breast satisfy you at all time. Be exhilarated always with her love. For why should you, my son, be exhilarated with an adulteress and embrace the bosom of a foreigner? For the ways of a man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he watches all his paths. His own iniquities will capture the wicked, and he will be held with the cords of sin. He will die for lack of instruction, and in the greatness of his folly he will go astray. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that you were blessed by the reading of the scripture. I want to encourage you that if you gathered with multiple people, that each one of you pick a verse from this chapter. Pick that verse that was highlighted to you, the one that stood out, and discuss it. What is the Lord saying through this verse? How is it speaking to you? I also want to encourage you that you can do this every month. Because there's 31 chapters in Proverbs, at the end of the month, you can start over. And every time you visit these chapters, I guarantee you, you'll find something new to talk about. It's life-changing. We have done this as a family for about two years or so, and we've seen a change in our mindset how we look at wisdom, how we look at foolishness, how we look at righteous living. It's a complete character change for sure. The whole point is to get it in you, not just to go through it as a, as a checklist, but get it in you and live it out. So again, I hope that you are blessed by these videos. Share this with your friends and your family. Let's get the word out there. Come on. Thank you again in Jesus' name.